Hey everybody, I figured I'd show you in one of my new builds I'm going to do. This one is special to me, so I'm going to actually show you an unboxing. Uh, as you can tell in the past video, I'm a big James Bond fan. And when I saw this, I just had a habit because before I even knew there was a model kit out there, I was thinking about a way to scratch build this and kind of got discouraged because... <laughs> That body would be kind of hard. The rest of it wouldn't be so bad, but that, that body I think would be hard, especially just for me. Anyhow, so this one I got not too long ago off of eBay, an Airfix kit, and wasn't too bad priced. I think there's enough out there where the price isn't too high out there. Uh, there's a couple other guys that has done videos out on YouTube on this, and so there's more than just me out there that's got it. But it's 124 scale, so that's pretty cool. So here is the water slides. They have it in two different ways to make it. This is, uh, if you do some research there, this is an actual helicopter that some guy made, and um, then they end up using it in the movies. The only way I'd make that is if I had two. And even if I had two of them, I think I'd make them both little nilly from the James Bond movie. But that is the water slide. I hope they are a lot better than the water slides I had for the uh, Ford Capri. That was insane. But at least now I know how to get away around it. So the manual, there is two different ways to build it, so you would have to watch out. But it does come with the figure comes with James Bond himself even with that goofy helmet he had with the camera in it the only thing that I've noticed on the other videos is they made this like a toy where you can actually shoot these generic uh, bombs the bombs don't even look like the ones that are in the movies that I am not gonna do I end up filling anything where there's a clip or anything I'm trying to make it look as much as the movie is as possible and then there's that. So. That shows you the um, water slide locations. That is the Army one. This is the little Nelly, the one from James Bond. This gives you a cool little. Uh, description of it, history behind it. So, let's see if I can get a close up. That way, if you want to read it, you can pause it and read it. I am sure that no matter what I did, you probably ain't going to be able to read it. So here is the bag. When I saw that, I was thinking, "Oh man, that can't be everything." But it is. It's it's not super big. It's a little nilly. So I think that's just junk. I hate to have that be a piece and lose it, but for sure that's just a piece of junk. sure that ain't broke. Here's one of the wings. Or blades. It's got a little bit of warpage to it. Nothing that I can't fix, I hope. There is the main center frame and then the body pieces. So that's pretty cool. Here's James Bond. 
Uh, one of the big things is is you do not want to glue these uh, in, until you actually have him mounted into the helicopter because one hand is on a throttle and the other hand is on a joystick so you don't want him to be flying hands free that just would look kind of ridiculous so looks like you got a little bit of damage there on scrap pieces but this is one of the pieces that hold the blades while sitting got the tires some rockets these are the rockets that shoot like a toy another one of blades a couple bombs these were the heat seeking missiles he took out one of the helicopters with well, actually these are the bombs that are shoot like toys these are the smoke containers and fire containers Here's the engine, the rear prop, some shrouds, hose, and there's the other blade holder. I don't think I'll be using those, but I'll end up having them painted right and having it sit next to it when I display it. And then some more frame and pieces like that. At the beginning, there was yeah. so I don't know how those go to go like that or not. Have to read the instructions and go by it and that. But then, is one of the throttle levers. I think that's the one he's actually holding on to. So that's the one that you want to actually have it close to. So not a whole lot into that. this is going to be my next build um, I do have a couple more James Bond theme builds coming up I'm gonna end up doing that on its own video I'm still waiting on a couple so this will be the next project depending on when the videos come out I do have a couple of them done that I have to show this might be before or after. I don't know. I'm coming out with so many videos because I've actually been off of work for a couple days. Figured I'd do a nice little relaxing vacation and catch up on some builds. Being lazy, it's too darn hot to do anything outside. So I figured I'd just be lazy, get some builds done. And that's what I've been doing. Instead of bombarding you guys with videos, I figured I'd spread them out a little bit. And give myself some bumper room. And give uh, you guys a little bit of a break from me so it's not non-stop my videos coming out. So until next time, I probably will have some of this done unless another video comes out in a different order. And then you guys will be confused as hell. But until next time, I'll talk to you guys then. Stay safe and uh, enjoy models. See ya.